Uh, we've been taking your calls all morning. Was Anne's right to question the foundation of Spurs as a football club? Following the fan reaction last night, Chris is an Arsenal fan. He's called us this morning. Chris, a very good morning. Good morning, Chris. Good morning. You okay, guys? Yeah, very good, well, good, thanks, good. Mate. Good, good. Um, I just want to address it up for what it is, and I think that uh, Spurs and all the fans in particular and the culture around it, the bottlers and the biggest one leading the charge is Jamie O'Hara last night with the uh, <laughs> conversion to uh, being a Man City fan. It's, let's face it, they could have a chance of getting in Champions League and um, they could build on that for next year and for years to come. And They've just kind of taken that for short-term gain, which they could lead to like, a lot of long-term pain because Angie's already saying, you know, he's questioning things and what player's going to look at that last night and go, do you know what, I'm going to go to that club and play for them because the first opportunity they get, they'd rather dress it up that they've handed City the title over the extent of their rivals. Chris, what did you think, mate? I mean, Alan and I were talking about it. I, I've got to say, I, I thought uh, I thought the, the Spurs players went about it the right way. I thought they performed. They, they, they could easily have got a drawn out of the game, a couple of missed chances. If ever there was a question yeah. mark about, you know, pointing a finger at somebody's professionalism, I thought it was answered last night because I thought the Spurs players went about it the right way, as did their manager. Yeah, I think, I think they did. And, like, I don't know, you two played the game at the highest level, you tell me, but if you was in an environment where the, the fans were behind the team at nil nil at half time, they could have come out maybe that little bit of extra impetus mm. and really gone for it. Yeah, but it was I a weird atmosphere, like, there's no doubt it about it. Um, uh, uh, just before I go, uh, Chris, is there any chance West Ham can hold City? Oh, he's gone. I was just going to say, Ali, we're forgetting. I know. That we're forgetting. What, know. what if what if City just have an off day? Or what if they're unlucky, hit the bar, yeah. hit the post, and West Ham Listen, sneak a draw? There's always a chance. The beauty of it going to the last day um, would tell you that. The fact of the matter is, we remember the greatest last day probably ever was at the Aguero moment. QPR. Right? Q- yeah. QPR, and that was... I think did Joey you know, Joey get sent, Joey off? Get sent yeah. off and the game just swung I think Big Jekyll scored a header and then obviously that was it which was the most dramatic incredible finish we'll ever see and that would tell you that anything can happen yeah. ok what about Tottenham perspective James is a Tottenham fan he's called us this morning James good, good morning, morning James morning gentlemen how are we good well, good great form mate <laughs> um, I mean I was the other way I wasn't like all the rest last night uh, I mean, I had the pleasure of working at the stadium. I really wanted us to push for a win. Yeah. Because those the city, sometimes we can do them over our ground. And it's this whole rivalry is to, I've had enough of it now. It's bitter. We just got to stop it because it's affecting our game. I mean, I was at the Wembley Stadium on Sunday with my daughter. And I'm thinking, I want more days like this. Yeah. Yeah. You want to be, a, you want to, be able to go out and have a good day, try and win a cup. But instead, we're focusing on trying to do over Arsenal. <laughs> and it's yeah. Just, yeah. I've had enough of it. It's like, I mean, I'm worried about Ange because it's been such a positive swing with him coming on board this season across all aspects of our club. Agreed. Um, last night, I mean, I witnessed him having a go at the fan. And I witnessed him. He gave some form of verbal to Madison. And Madison was palming it off. Don't want to play for that badge on your shirt. Get out. Go. Uh, there's definitely. Um, listen, thanks, James. Thank you. Thanks, James. Um, I think there's a bit of a love hate relationship with Madison with Ange. You know. Do you think he's so? Pulled off, he's taken him off a few times, hasn't he? And you know. You should, but what about a bit Ben? The other what's he called Ben? Uh, hey, ben Tinker. God, he had I, a right arm, didn't I he? I don't know what happened there. I tell you what. As did, uh, as by did the Ederson, way, by the way. Uh, yeah, but this was worse. Ben Tinker was it. worse. I tell you now, he, he'll have to pay for that seat, I'm telling yeah, you. He yeah. kicks... Oh. Yeah, By the did. way, it wasn't that great either. You know, it wasn't that great a performance from him. He was all right, I but he wasn't, wasn't a superstar. I think it was the right? tantrum just a bit of substitution then. Yeah, oh yeah, absolutely. I can't yeah. that. Talk Sport Breakfast with Alan Brazil. Thursday and Friday morning, 6 till 10. On AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.